we got a few positions already taken care of because I'm bringing my luggage with me. And it's Louie. Several former buffs heard that now infamous line and took Coach Prime's advice, but many stayed and were not deterred, like walk on Charlie Offerdahl. Hearing him say that he's going to bring his Louis luggage, you know, I was, I was a part of that. I knew I was a part of that. I believe in who I am and what I can do. So why did this walk on from Dakota Ridge High School think he was exactly what Prime was looking for? You have to go back to Charlie's high school career where he was an all-state performer on both offense and defense. So is he like a coach's dream? Oh yeah, yeah. Everything about him, 4.0 student, most respectful kid. He always knew he was going to be prepared when, when game time came. Uh, two-time team captain for us, two-time league MVP for us. I mean, he, he, he fit, he checks every box. The one box Charlie didn't check was his height and weight. At 5'10", only 170 pounds, Division I coaches weren't knocking down his door. You know what, I, I wouldn't say it was frustrating. Um, it was a process for sure. I was like, he is a football player. That's the thing, he's a foot. Don't get hung up on the 5'10", 170 pound kid. Be hung up on the kid that is a football player that you will love when you get him. CU didn't love Charlie, but they liked him enough to offer him a preferred walk-on opportunity. After a redshirt year, Charlie did what he's always done. Charlie offered all with a block in front of him. This 36 yard catch and run was the longest play by a Colorado walk on since 2012. And he rushed for 150 yards, the most in school history by a walk on. It was huge for me. Um, I would definitely say it was a turning point, you know, getting on the field, getting to show my family and the fans uh, what I get to do. It was awesome. But once Carl Durrell was fired, Charlie had to prove himself all over again, this time to an iconic Pro Football Hall of Fame. Talk about when you think you first caught Coach Prime's eye. Mm. I'd definitely say in the spring. Um, you know, a couple of those practices, uh, you know, I'd break off a couple of those runs, and I'd like to make eye contact with him coming back. Him acknowledging that was huge for me. You know, I respect him and look up to him so much, um, not only as the player he was, but the man he is. I call him Charlie Often Ball, because that's what he did today. I like that, Charlie Often Ball, because that's what you're going to get. He, he's just working hard, and I'm just mad I didn't come up with it first. Charlie's a dog, man. I, I love his commitment. I love his swagger. I'm not crazy about his mustache, but everything else I, I love about Charlie. In Prime's own words, this walk-on is showing up and showing out. If you keep on balling out, you ain't gonna be a walk-on for long. But the praise from your coach, that's one thing. When it comes from your peers, that's everything. <sighs> Man, Charlie, it's kind of giving me a little, you know what I'm saying? That's that's a great guy. Um, he, he never is gonna be jealous and um, he always wants the best for everybody. And he's gonna work his tail off every day to be who he wants to be. And if I had to give a scholarship to anybody, it would be Charlie.